So far away, Nisha, what is the fuzziest animal you've touched? It has to be my cats. So fluffy. Oh, God. I'm not even going to make the joke, folks. That I'll make it yourself. Done. <laughs> right. I'm not even. I'm. I'm too. I'm too Gosh. proud to make that joke. Right. There are a handful of animals out there greatly prized for the fuzzy and or wuzziness of their fur and the quality of the garments that can be made from it. With the world of fashion charging a premium for the fur of especially cute or adorable animals. For example, consider the bizarre case of the vicuna, an animal with fur so soft. Socks made from it can cost more than a month's rent. Something we need to clarify is like because we're talking about fur. Mm -hmm. Do they hurt the animal when you know they're gaining this fur? So something I have to clarify for the folks who can see the vacuna and how adorable it is. To get the wool we are about to talk about, you do not harm the animal at all. And in fact, the animal needs to be shaved every now and again because its wool is so greatly prized that poachers will seek the animal out, which is one of the reasons that it's so rare. It's only contributed to the value and mystique surrounding the wool produced by the animal, which we're going to discuss right now. Okay, so what is it about the vicuna that makes its fur so valuable? Uh, it's just so soft and so fluffy, and there's scientific research being done, and it is widely agreed that the fur or the wool produced by the vicuna is the finest of any animal on Earth. By fine, I mean how thin it is, because I believe it's a matter of nanometers across in terms of the thickness of the individual hairs on the vicuna, which mean that it is especially soft and fluffy. And I believe the only creature on earth that even comes close to having fur as soft as the vicuna is the cashmere goat. And as we all know, cashmere, you can charge a premium for that. And I'm guessing, or I'm hoping, there's at least one or two people out there that didn't know that cashmere comes from goats. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> Wait, cashmere sounds so posh that when you hear cashmere, you think, wow, that's like the creme de la creme of fabric. That's like the best possible thing you can cover your body in, besides vicuna, as we'll talk about in a moment. And people don't realise that it actually comes from a special type of goat, the cashmere goat specifically, and um, hence the name. And the, the, it's noted that the finest and best quality hairs to produce cashmere are found on the goat's underbelly and its undercoat. Oh. Um, so the best way to get cashmere is to just shave the tummy of these goats. Every year, like, cashmere farmers have to shave their goats and they wander around with really exposed tummies. Oh. And they're just so cold. And they don't know what's going on. It's always the, the bellies that are fluffy because going back to earlier when I said my cats are the fluffiest things, yes. like one of my cats absolutely loves belly rubs. And her mm -hmm. belly is the fluffiest part of her. So I can understand yeah. them just shaving the belly. <laughs> like, that's where the finest hairs are, which allows them to produce the highest quality wool. But um, all of the cashmere goat's um, hair is valuable and soft. But like, you know, that's where the good stuff is. And it's the same with the vicuna, where, where all of its fur is very soft. But there is certain parts of its fur that are softer than the others. And they're the parts that rich people want. Alright, so I'm guessing this is where the ass hair comes in. Yes, like the camel ass hair. So the vicuna is a member of the camel id family. So I'm not sure if that means it's technically a camel, but camel ass hair was too funny not to write. So um, any people out there who are perhaps like, you know, better versed um, in animals than I am, maybe offer a more like scientifically correct title in the comments. But camel ass hair is what I went with because it sounded too funny. It's the reason Nisha wanted to do this video today. <laughs> yeah, I saw it, I was just but, like, yep. <laughs> We need to talk about this thing. Like, and as well, you look at the picture and go, wow, yeah. that is one soft and fuzzy animal. Oh, so, so cute and fuzzy. It's, it's so fluffy. So fluffy. And it's noted that like, the absolute finest hairs on the vicuna are located on its bum, <laughs> on, its, on its tiny little vicuna bum. And the best way to get the best hairs is to gently brush its bum and get like the tiny little like micro hairs from its ass, and then take those. <laughs> And that method um, produces a reported 200 grams of fibre per vicuna every three years. God. <laughs> so one vicuna produces 200 grams of usable fibre that can be turned into wool every three years. And with those figures in mind, it's really easy to understand why things made of vicuna wool cost so much. Like, for example, a coat made of vicuna wool can cost upwards of $20,000. Jesus. For a coat. That's expensive. For it, <laughs> But it's noted as being the absolute best coat you'll ever wear because it's so fucking soft. And there's probably people at home thinking, well, how soft can it really be to cost that much? Um, vicuna wool 
was the chosen garment of Inca royalty um, way back in the past. And when the creature was discovered by the conquistadors, um, when they went over and like, you know, just pillaged Inca lands, Spanish royalty immediately went, this is the only thing we want our beds to be made of. <laughs> like, we, like, silk can fuck off. No, we only want Vicuna wool. It's the only thing we will wear now. And then moving forward to the modern day, high-end stores that sell Vicuna wool products are so confident that when people feel how soft they are, that's the only thing they will wear. And they have like bags of it in their store, so you can put your hand into it. And people who've touched Vicuna wool describe it as feeling like a cloud. And I don't know about you, Nisha, but I want to wear a cloud. Yeah, I, I want to feel this, this wool. No, I really want to feel it. <laughs> Like, chances are you won't because it's that fucking expensive and it's produced in such limited quantities because, as you might imagine, folks at home, um, the Vicuna, for many, many years, was greatly in demand, so poachers would just shoot them oh. and take all their fur and then sell them on the black market, which is a really stupid idea because, like, the old adage is you can shear a sheep many times but only butcher it once. And the Peruvian government is well aware of this and there are many schemes in place to protect the animal because why would you not protect the animal that produces wool that feels like clouds? The, the, the cloud camel. Why would you not... Uh, it's basically a Pokemon. It's so <laughs> you, just to, you just have to, like, Photoshop a camel, but um, instead of its actual body, it's just a cloud. <laughs> yeah, go on, we can do that. Yeah, that's, that's basically what a Vakuna would feel like if you could ever, like, find one. But like, it's just, it's so ridiculous uh, the amount of effort that goes into producing the clothes made from Vicuna wool because its hair is so fine, it's almost impossible to work with. So it requires incredibly skilled hands to even turn it into fibers in the first place. And as I said, the end result is coats that cost $20,000 or about three times what you'd expect to pay for a cashmere equivalent. But that brings us to the topic of today's article that is socks because I don't think anything sums up like how ostentatious it is possible to be that socks made of vicuna wool and i have said many a time that if i ever got to the point i have fuck you youtube money i will buy a pair of vicuna wool socks because they are no they are the rolls royce of socks and they cost anywhere upwards of six hundred dollars per pair but why do they cost six hundred dollars uh, it's because nisha it takes one year per sock to make them. What the fuck? <laughs> takes one entire year to make one sock. So Holy to make a pair, shit. that's two years of solid work <sighs> oh my God. and hundreds of man hours to make this one pair of socks. And that's why they are the absolute pinnacle of luxury. But just the idea that somewhere out there you could buy a pair of socks known as being the absolute best pair of socks it is possible to find anywhere in the world. And it's made from the fibres that are obtained by gently brushing the ass of a tiny camel creature. It's very funny to me. It just seems like it's too cheap now, you know, $600 for a year's work is too cheap. All that work, yeah. It seems to be like, don't, don't encourage me, they'll charge more, and I want to buy a pair. <laughs> One day I'll own a pair of Vicuna wool socks, and no doubt I will put my toe right fucking through them. <laughs> yeah. So far away, Nisha, you've known me for a couple of years now, yes? Yeah, I'd say about eight years. Okay, and in the time you have known me, have you ever known me to wear a pair of matching socks? No, it's an no, always no, odd no. pair. <laughs> yeah, so that's just a, um, a jumping off point. You might be wondering why did I write an article about super like fluffy, comfy socks made of tiny camel hair? Um, that's because I fucking adore socks. I, every year for Christmas, we're recording this, I think, two weeks to Christmas now to date the, um, the timing of the video. And the only thing I've asked for from my family is just get me socks. I fucking love socks. I change my socks three times a day because the feeling of putting on a fresh pair of socks is one I enjoy so much. Oh, wow. Three times a day? That, that was when I was going to the gym. So I'd wake up, put some socks on, go to the gym, come back, change my socks. Also, I'd get a shower, change my socks. Later in the day, change my socks again so I can walk around in the evening. It's like, oh, I need my socks. <laughs> fucking love socks. I'm in my bedroom right now for recording my house. Ah, I've got all these fucking, ugh, so many fucking socks. I've got all these, so, so many fucking socks everywhere. Like, they're all colourful, all bright and awesome. And all, I fucking love socks so fucking much. And I'm hoping that goes part way to explaining why it is my dream to own a pair of those socks. Because I want to try the best socks in the world. And Nisha, in that vein, let's say you have some fuck you YouTube money. What's like, an incredibly expensive item that you know? you know is overpriced, but you want. Not something sensible, something silly, something like silly. my Vicuna wool socks. Yeah, 
Because while you're having a think, um, something I've always wanted to do, just to say that I did, and again, this is if I ever get like, fuck you, YouTuber money is, wipe my ass after a shit with an entire toilet roll. <laughs> like just the entire roll. Just get the entire thing and wipe with that, just so I can say that I've done it. And every time I get like a 12-pack of bog roll, I'm like, I could do it, but then I think that it's going to take so long to flush that bog. I just want to know what it feels like to use infinity ply toilet paper. Because you know they always keep adding an extra layer of ply to bog rolls. Like, what does infinite ply feel like? What does it feel like when I'm wiping my ass with like the most amount of plies possible? But um, is there like a product or an item of clothing that is especially expensive that you just want to own and you would buy if you had that fuck you money? Well, I've seen a thing where it's um, you can get diamond tea bags. You know, diamond what, sorry? Diamond tea bags. Diamond tea. Oh, man. That, that is... <laughs> Why that is the posh. most expensive cup of tea? The world's most expensive fucking... That's... That's some baller tech, is that, in it? Oh, God, that'd be so good. I don't think it'd be good. No, those, gold, um, those gold leaf pizzas you can get. Like the pizzas that have, like, gold leaf on them. It's like, why would you have that? That reminds me a little bit. There's a, a jacket that I want, and I've wanted for about two, three years now. And it's from All Saints, which is uh, a reasonably... Ex- it's, like, pretty expensive brand in the UK. And I remember walking in once, and I, try- I made that mistake of trying something on before I looked at the price. Oh, no. And I put the jacket on, looked in the mirror and went, this is the best jacket I have ever worn. I look so fucking good. And I look like this most of the time, folks at home. So you know that it must have been a good fucking jacket to make me go, wow, I look good today. Because I never think that, (laughs) ever. And I was like, I want this jacket. And I lifted up the thing, 450 pounds. Holy shit. (laughs) So, oh. No, and every now and again, I look at my bank account and go, I'm doing okay now. This YouTube stuff's like doing all right, but I can't like the like the starving student who lived off thirty pound a week inside me cannot justify spending over a month's rent on one item of clothing, even though I know I look so fucking swag in it. Have you heard anything like that? Uh, well, speaking of coats, actually, um, mm-hmm. there's loads of coats I see in Blue Banana. You know, alternative sort of coats. Mm. And there's these coats that look like dresses, and they are so nice, but they're the sort, oh, of, the sort of coat that looks good if you're wearing, say, tights or leggings, but wouldn't look good if you're wearing, like, jeans and trainers, because mm-hmm. it looks like a dress. And they're, like, yeah. £150. And I'm like, I don't want to buy a coat what I can't wear with everything. <laughs> it's like, a coat is supposed to keep me warm, <laughs> even though it looks super stylish. So I have that all the time. I don't like spending a lot of money on clothes. I... Because I always end up buying, say, like, black, white, and grey clothes. Because I like to buy stuff Mm. that goes with everything. So I can't justify spending a lot of money on a coat when I can only wear it with certain clothing items. Yep. Maybe one day this channel will take off enough for us to have our simple dreams of me wearing the comfiest socks in the world while wiping my ass or an entire bog roll wearing that swag jacket. And you to get that jacket that doesn't match everything but work by name. Like, yeah, fuck y'all. Charging it. (laughs) <laughs> YouTube's doing alright but until then I guess I'm just going to wear the, the H&M special 